Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. When booking your Disneyland Paris holiday, one thing you're going to start asking yourself or you want to consider is where are we going to eat? So one thing you might want to consider is adding to your package a Disney meal plan. So let's look at these in more detail. The breakfast option gives you breakfast each morning of your Disney stay whilst you're in your Disney hotel or a breakfast basket if you're staying in the Davy Crockett Ranch. Breakfast in hotels are generally an all-you-can-eat buffet and they cover a wide range of foods from cold meats to cereals to croissants to full breakfast to crepes and the elusive Mickey waffles. Disney also offer three other levels of meal plan. You have the standard and the plus option, both of which you can either have as a half board option, so that will be breakfast and lunch or evening meal. Or you can have full board, which would be breakfast, lunch or evening meal. The differences between the standard and the plus options are with standard, you can eat at any of the 31 restaurants listed on the Disney website. You can use your vouchers at table service, at the buffet service or the quick service restaurants. One thing with the standard meal plan is if you are standard full board, then one meal each day does have to be a quick service counter service meal. So that can either be hot dogs and cases, a burger meal at Cafe Hydrogen, or any of the other quick service places around the park. With the plus option, which is the middle grade option meal plan, again, you can have either full board or half board. Again, you have 31 different restaurants that you can use your vouchers in. As with the standard, you can use these at table service, buffet or quick service. With the full board option of the plus option, on your last day, you do get a voucher which will cover you for your lunch on your departure day. One thing you can do with both the standard and the plus option is that you can actually use your vouchers towards character meals so this can either be breakfast or dinner with characters in plaza gardens or lunch or evening meal with the princesses at auberge de cinderellium there will be a top-up fee and that amount will depend on which level of meal voucher that you have and then you have the extra plus option this is a new option which disney have introduced in 2022 with this option, you get 33 restaurants to choose from, but you can only have Extra Plus as a full board option. With the Extra Plus, you can use your voucher to cover you for one of the character meals, so the breakfast or lunch with characters at Plaza Gardens or lunch dinner at Herberge de Cinderellium. If you do want to have an additional meal, there may be a top-up fee on top. You can use the vouchers at all the other buffet restaurants and at the quick service. As with the standard and half board, you do get a soft drink with your meal. And on your last day, you can have a lunch or dinner at a restaurant of your choice. Other things you do get with the plus option is each day you're at the park, you get a snack and a drink from one of the snack counter windows. And also for the adults, so this is anyone that's 18 and over, you do get one alcoholic drink per day. In terms of cost, costs do vary depending on the grade of meal plan that you're going to go for. As a general rule, I normally go for the plus option because I do like to have that slightly more choice when it comes to restaurants because with the sit-down restaurants, you do have a set menu and I always find the plus menu looks a bit more exciting than the standard menu. But you can also pick from other items that are on the menu, use your vouchers and if there's any difference to pay, you just pay the top up. One thing you cannot do if you have a meal plan is also use your annual pass for discount of your balance on your bill because the meal plans are already discounted. Meal plans are only available if you are staying in a Disney on-site hotel. So unfortunately, if you do decide to stay in one of the partner hotels, you will not have the option of having a meal plan. And they do have to be purchased in advance before you travel. So there you have it. Short, sweet guide to meal plans. If you have questions, pop them in the comments. But in the meantime, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and a like. If you like my channel, subscribe below. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.